Hey friends, I hope you're having a great day today. I'm so excited you're here with me. I'm gonna paint three sunflowers and I really, I'm gonna base it on a painting I did about a year ago. I'll link that painting and that video in this description. Isn't that pretty? I don't know how it's looking on my iPad, but it's got aqua colors, kind of blue greens in it. I just love that. But I wanna paint three of them. Nope, I'm going the wrong way. So on Pixabay, and in this video's description, I've linked three different sunflowers looking different directions to help us. Here's the last one. Isn't that fun? Okay, I'm gonna paint it on a 12 inch by 12 inch canvas, gallery wrapped and splined. I got them on Amazon. It's a uh, Cre... I, I never get this right. <laughs> Creative Mark the Edge. Here, if I get a little closer. And I'm going to use some combination of Bright Aqua Green. These are all Liquitex. This one is Thalo Green. I haven't used this in a long time. And I think I might put in some Thalo Blue, but I will let you know. I'll put the colors. I'll list them in this video's description. But before we get started, a lot of times I time lapse this, but let's write the word love on here. I, just, I think it's a great way to start. Okay, let's have some fun. Okay, let's chat for a second. So I painted the background and went and had dinner. And I meant to turn this so that the darker corners are at the bottom. I did this with a rooster painting, I think. Um, gosh, I don't know how many months ago. <laughs> but it, it'll be fine. It'll be totally fine. I can always kind of darken down here if I want. I used a white charcoal pencil and I'm doing the same basic technique as I did on the previous um, sunflower painting, I talked about painting, oh gosh, sorry about the glare of the lights, painted like a fried egg shape. So this is like an egg from straight on the top. This kind of has an oval to it. And then I put in some leaves just to help me, or petals too. And then this is kind of a, oh, like a bell shape maybe, is the, the basic shape. And then there'll be green petals here. But I think, I think that's funny that I did that. I'm also thinking I might use, I don't know if I said it in the video a year ago, but it might be fun to outline it a little bit with Posca pens. And then I put out too much paint. Well, it's not terrible. Thalo blue, um, thalo green, bright aqua green, titanium white, and Mars Black. And then I mixed, you can kind of see it's a darker blue gray. So quite a bit, bit of thalo blue, quite a bit of thalo green, a little bit of aqua green, and a little bit of black just to mute it down. So that's kind of my main color. And then I would, oh, I use this big two inch inexpensive chipboard brush from Blick Art Materials. And then just pretty much horizontal or vertical strokes to get my background, which I think looks really pretty. But I'm going to set this aside. There isn't a whole lot of room anyway. I need cad yellow, uh, quinacridone magenta so I can make an orange. I'll probably just put out red, yellow, blue, black, and white for a primary palette. And then I'm going to work on this one first because it's behind this one. And then this one's in front. So I'll probably, that one. I'll probably put those two centers in and then work on this one and this one and then this one. Okay, guys, I just, I just thought it was funny. I forgot to flip it. I'll be back in a bit.
friends. I'm going to stop for tonight. I'm bringing up the values of this uh, sunflower in the back. I'll need to put some greens in before I do this sunflower. But I'm bringing up the values. I'm using primary colors. Titanium white, Mars black, phthalo blue, quinacridone magenta, cad yellow, medium hue. And then I just, I made an orange, put in, I think more quinacridone, some black to make a brown. Um, orange and just a smidge of brown makes a raw sienna color. That's about it. Um, quite a bit of quinacridone, or <laughs> quite a bit of cad yellow medium hue. And a little bit of quinacridone makes a pretty orange. So it's come along. I'm using a half inch flat brush from Royal and Lang Nickel. It's their Zen line. And I've got my camera pretty close, about, oh, eight inches from my painting. I'll be back tomorrow. Hey friends, I thought I'd pop in. So if I didn't mention it, cause I am probably two days later, I'm using a half inch brush or a three quarter inch flat brush from Royal and Lane Nickel. Try and get that in there so it focuses. You know, I just put down, I don't know if that's dry. <laughs> it's kind of working. Just put it down, smush it, you know, make a petal, or you could do it the other direction too. Yeah, I picked up a little paint. Um, I'm going to do this one next because it's on top of this one. So I left this one more orange and rust. And I'll put yellows and whites here just because it'll come over. But really, that's all I'm doing. I just add layers. I think I'm a little bit looser. Well, it's more full, my sunflower, than the one I did about a year ago. Oh, all the glare. I kind of, I focused more on crazy petals in a single sunflower where this one I'm kind of more bursts of color and three sunflowers of course it might be fun to take a Posca pen and kind of outline it I don't know if I'm gonna do that yet and I, we could put some fun dots in there indicate some seeds so not much going on I mixed more color petals because they were drying out and they don't have to be exact you know I just have a Kind of a cooler or a darker green, a little bit cooler, a warm green, brown. Um, a little bit lighter than a raw sienna color. So it's a lot of orange, just a pinch of brown. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a bit. Okay guys, I'm calling it done. When I get towards the end, 
like I put on a few, well here, let's start, let's start with this palette. So I mixed a pinky, orangey brown and put just a little here and here and here. And then I mixed a darker value and put them in the same areas. Um, but as you get towards the end, like I just did that in three spots, you kind of get less and less and smaller and smaller. I like this. I like, it is looser. I like that. I like the colors. Um, the white, thick little white blobs. I have three of them. Do I have more than one? Three? No. So those help, I think. Let me look at my phone. Yeah, those help keep your eye in here. I mean, I'm doing a decent job. This looks in, this looks at you. This one leads you off the canvas, which is why, all right, I'm gonna grab my other palette. I still had my background palette, <laughs> which I have in a, I keep them in Ziploc bags. I missed them. They keep for quite a while, especially if you remember to miss them every, like, I don't know, three or four days. It depends on the weather in your area. So I took some white and my uh, bright aqua green and I put it on and smeared it. This one I actually washed a little bit with some water. Put it on, smeared it, and I ended up putting a little more on. Put in some little aqua green dots. I really like this one. I was kind of scared to do it, but I like this smear right here. So all I'm trying to do a little bit is keep you in the painting, entertain you. Those are the two main goals. Part of me is wondering if I have these two rusty, but I think we're okay. When I look at my phone, I really like it. Okay, let's take a tour. Oh, and I had talked about using Posca pens. I'll show you what those look like. I think I'm busy enough that I don't really need to add it. I've got so many different layers of colors and value, and this is actually the background showing through, which is nice. I didn't do that in too many places. All right, I'm just putting palettes away so I can give you a tour. Oh, and the Posca pens. They come in different um, packs. You can get, you can buy just, I think you can buy them individually or you can buy them in even bigger packages. Um, this is a 0.7. The one I signed paintings with, if I can find it, oh, there it is, <laughs> is thicker. It says 0.9 to 0.13. I don't know why there's a range on there. I don't know if that's focusing. Okay, what's nice about them is they, they're water-based acrylic paint. Um, a Sharpie, it has alcohol in it that can mess with your paint a little bit, make it a little less archival, that sort of thing. Towards the end, I used, oh, it's starting to get abused. These little brushes don't last very long. Um, a number two Princeton. And then a half inch flat brush from Royal and Lanical. Okay, let's do a tour. I just love this color combination. I, I'm so glad I painted it. Another version of a sunflower with the same basic colors. I really like it. Let's see how close I can get. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. So we'll kind of, I'll just go up and then I'll get even closer. Oop, a little crooked. Yeah, I really like this one right here. <laughs> Oop, is that too close? There's the center of that one. You can see the pink a little better. It's not that pink. I like the aqua in there. It helps tie in the background. Oh, I put a little aqua and blue in the green every once in a while. I'll zoom in on those leaves in case you want to see those. So I started with that one. I think it's a little tighter, but I don't mind it. Of course, if, if you painted, I'd say, this is, I love this, it's beautiful. 
But when it's your own painting, you see the things that didn't turn out quite like you had in your mind. That doesn't mean it's not a great painting. Okay. Well, thanks for tagging along with me. I, I really enjoy your company. I love the comments. Super appreciate all your support. Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.